Welcome to my hero academia. Your what? My hero. Oh, it's gone. I was she like, she has no more hair, and it looks amazing. I, I was afraid you were making like a harem joke, and I was like, excuse me. No, we don't. We don't. We don't talk harem anymore. Anyway. My hero academia. My hero. My hero. I lost my hair. I cut my hair. It looks good, doesn't it? Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. <laughs> we took a trip just before filming this one mm -hmm. to go and get. Hayaki! Hold on, hold on. Fish pastries. Let's see, hopefully a little more picturesque. Oh, up gosh. There. Yeah, that one. Okay, that that sounds go. good. That sounds good. Peach pastries. So they're so, they're like waffle pastries with various fillings inside, uh, and we got a bunch of all of them to try all of the flavors. But yeah. uh, these specific particular ones are red bean and taro. Taro. Yeah. We had to look up what taro was. Yeah. Apparently, it is a root vegetable. Take the big one. Uh, we had. Uh, we will admit we cheated and ate. Hi. Custard ones. Don't tell them! Custard ones on the way home. But we wanted to eat one while they were fresh. Yeah. Uh, there we go. All right. I'm gonna take like a small bite of that one too. There we go. By small, I'm like, here's all the filling. I'll take all of the filling. <laughs> Just like a lady. Mm. So how does it measure up? Is it everything you wanted? It's not bad. The waffle part is great. Hmm. Waffle part tasty. The red bean part. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Purple. It's very purple. I don't know if you can see it. It's definitely potato-ish. Mm -hmm. hmm. I like that better than the red bean one. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. But... We left off at a very important part of My Hero Academia. Enough desserts. Back to the real stuff. Uh-huh. What do you... Are you excited? Are you ready? I'm going to be picking up this for a while. Viewers, this has been one of the longer breaks we've had in between recording sessions. I'm and terrible. I know it was terrible timing to stop, too. It's okay. It's okay. I, I was teasing uh, Mackenzie about uh, she had a recent trip. She my family. Mm -hmm. Well deserved. Well earned. I hope you've had a ton of fun. Have to wait. Have to wait. All right. Well, we'll just have to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Damn it! This guy's quick. We can't give up. Not now. We have to catch him and get our friends back. Make sure you've got a good grip on that. I'm with an injured tongue ball thing. Whoa, 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 what's this? Oh, hey, wait, I know these kids. Who are they? While we were trying to protect Kachan, our classmates had their own problems back at camp immediately following Mandalay's message. Come on, you heard what she said, didn't you? I can't let them get my friend! You gotta let me go find him, please! Not a chance. But why not? Come on, cool it, Kirishima. Excuse me, we don't know how many villains there are. Shouldn't we have as many fighters as possible? You can't furiously want to face the bad guy! Ida gets it! Even Mr. Aizawa said to fight! Only for self-defense. He meant the students in the woods. <laughs> Was that the door? I guess Mr. Aizawa is back already. Finally, he'll understand. No. Wait up. Move! Everyone, get back! <gasps> no way! That's the guy who got framed earlier! You're too slow! Blood control. It's so crazy. Strong. Just as I'd expect from our teacher. You dare walk into my classroom without so much as a plan? You underestimate us. Are you sure about that? Mm. You're acting exactly like I expected. You've already been defeated, regardless of what happens to me. The two most trusted pillars of the superhuman society are linked together. UA, the pinnacle of hero education, and All Might, the symbol of peace. Ugh. But embarrassing incidents have damaged the world's trust in you both. 
Sloppy management keeps allowing villains to slip in and attack. People are so shaken that they've almost lost all faith in you. Imagine how they'll react when they find out you let a student get kidnapped. You shut up! That's not gonna happen! Not our classmates! Not while we're here! Don't be naive. It only took a handful of us to separate you from the pros and start picking you off. That's enough! <laughs> it's no use, Vlad. <laughs> this guy's just trying to provoke you. He won't talk. <laughs> uh, Mr. Aizawa, I think you got him. You look at him. Another fake. I fought one before. He wasn't real? It must be a villain's quirk. Eraser, what's it like out there? Hard to say. I left to direct our defense, but I ended up taking care of Coda. Look after him while I go back to the front line. I'm counting on you to keep defending this place. You just Is melted a man. <laughs> we hardly know anything about them. You'll be just fine by yourself. The other copy of him I fought earlier used the same attack. I think their strategy is to send their strongest fighters here to keep our attention since we're the pros. That's how they're trying to disguise the fact that there are so few of them out there. If there aren't many, then we should be fighting too! Yes, you need strength and numbers! No. <laughs> if they're not here for us, then they're after the students. We know about Bakugo, but they might be targeting others as well. We're still sorely lacking in information. The only way we win this is by making sure you students are protected. Meanwhile... <laughs> You've got John and Tokoyami back to us! Wait, I know these kids! Who are they? Out of the way, like <laughs> <I can> press. <laughs> got it! Let's go! Aha! This is easy! Give me all He's you such got. a Deadpool hey, character. Man, cut me some slack. What the hell I is know. with this guy? Oh, I can't believe you wrecked my exit! Unrehearsed amateurs. You got Bakugo? Of course. Midoriya, Todoroki, we're done. He gave away his best trick. I'm not sure what your quirk is, but it had to do with those little marbles, right? The ones you'd stashed in your pocket. Yeah. So I'm guessing these are totally Guy with extra hands, why not? <laughs> you rescued them! <laughs> well, color me impressed. Just as I'd expect from someone with so many hands. How splendid. Right! Nice job, Shoji! Moron. No, wait. Oh! Who did he get? Well, isn't that a tragedy? Poor little Shoto Todoroki. <laughs> Confirm it now. Release them. That laser ruined my finale. That <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> Kacha, no! Kacha! Stick back, Deku. <laughs> We finally finished taking comprehensive statements from Aizawa and Vlad King, and I think we found something. It's possible we have a lead on where the League of Villains is hiding. <gasps> really? Are you serious? Yep. About two weeks ago, I sent an officer around to gather information. A bystander pointed out that he'd seen a man with a patchwork face entering a building that was supposed to be vacant. The man looked to be in his 20s, but we didn't find any plausible matches when we checked criminal records. We spoke with the owner of the building, though, and found that there's a sort of hidden bar there. My man thought this was unrelated to our kidnapping case and didn't investigate further. But remember the description of that villain from the attack? He had a patchwork face. Given the profile of this crime, we'll move as soon as we get the green light. This is top secret. I'm only telling you because it's you. <laughs> we plan to ask for cooperation from many pro heroes for this rescue and inevitable cleanup mission. All Might? We need your power. Uh, All Might, are you still there? Tsukuchi, you're a wonderful friend. And I know just what I'll say when I find them. I am here to make you pay for what you've done. Hey, Midoriya, good, you're finally awake. Did you see the news? Reporters are all over the school right now. It's worse than last time. I brought a 
present. I mean, it's from all of us. It's a melon. I caused you trouble, Midoriya. No, please. I did this to myself. Did everyone <laughs> from eyes. The come to visit? <laughs> no. Jiro and Hagakure are still out. They were knocked unconscious from that villain's poisonous gas. Your phone and invisible. And Yao Yorozu mm. took a pretty bad hit to the head. She's hospitalized here, though I just found out she finally woke up yesterday. So it's just us, though obviously we wish the whole Shaka. class could be here. Shaka man. <laughs> Only 15 of us for now. Because Bakugo is gone. <laughs> he knows, Todoroki! <laughs> Take back! Deku! All Might told me there'd always be people beyond our reach that we can't protect, even though we want to. Which is why we have to save the people we can reach. I was so close to being able to save him. I needed to save him. Had to. That's the entire reason I have my quirk. It's exactly like Mr. Aizawa said to me. That's cool. You're worthless if you can only throw a single punch before breaking down. <laughs> my body wouldn't move. I couldn't save someone who was right in front of me. And since I failed, he's gone. All right, then let's go get him. <laughs> I was here yesterday, too, and so was Todoroki. <laughs> Why are you at the hospital? I could ask you that. Well, I couldn't just sit at home, so I figured I would come here. Me too. I felt the same. We were on our way to visit you. When we saw All Might and some police officer talking to Yao Yorozu. With the assistance of Awase from Class B, I attached a tracking device to one of the villains. What about that? This is the creation that will receive that signal. I hope it helps your search. Previously, Aizawa said you lacked the self-confidence and judgment needed to make quick decisions. Well, look how much you've grown. You have our thanks, Yao Yorozu. With a classmate still in danger, it's frustrating that I can't help you more than this. I hate it. That painful feeling is proof that you are worthy of being a hero. <laughs> Please don't worry. You can leave the rest to us. This means you're going to have Yagorozu make another receiver for you, doesn't it? <sighs> what if it does? Either way, we'll need to take responsibility for being negligent as supervisors. I'm sorry. I should have listened. Yeah, you caused us a lot of trouble. Remember that and don't do it again. <sighs> you should listen to what All Might said. We have to leave this to the professionals. It's not the right time for us to get involved. Idiot! Maybe, but all I know is that at camp, I couldn't do anything. I heard my friend was targeted and I just stood by. Helpless. So if I stand by and do nothing now, how am I supposed to call myself a hero or a man? Kirishima, calm down. We're in a hospital. There's a better time and place for this, dude. Yeah, and what Ida said is true. All of you, just listen to me for a minute. I know what you're saying is right. But still, come on, Midoriya. He's still within your reach. This is like we Iron Man and Cap. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> I will say before I forget, I was very happy Aoyama got that laser shot off. Yeah. I was very happy he got to kind of redeem himself there. That was uh Yeah. He he had been kind of cowardly a little bit before. Uh, completely understandably, but you know, for, uh, I'm glad he got to help fix a little bit. Um Yikes. Okay, so my my guess was kind of half right. They got one of the boys, so Bakugo is gone for the time being. I'm gonna go rescue him. I'm gonna go rescue him. I, I, I don't know. Risk. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be one of those where... I don't know how many of the classmates are gonna go on this mission to rescue him. Because it sounds like... It, I was joking about Civil War where it's, you know, the Iron Man wants to follow the rules and Cap is like, no, we gotta do the thing. And everyone kind of split lines on that. 
but I feel like they're gonna get there and they're gonna be badass and they're gonna do all the things but Bakugo's gonna get himself out. He's gonna be the, like the damsel in distress. It's like, I don't need no man and just like explode everything and, and figure it out. So you don't think Bakugo's fate is either sealed or he is going to become a bad guy or he's no. going to be away, or no, he... what do you think Bakugo's gonna, gonna happen? Like he's he's obviously gonna survive. I'm not worried about him. I think he's I think of the couple character I think a few characters in the show have plot armor, at least for a while. And he's one of them. We are in uh, season three. Yeah, but he's just he's too popular. Everyone loves Bakugo. The, and this is me being meta in the real world with uh just he's a fan favorite. They're not gonna get rid of him until they wanna end the show. The but I, I don't know. I think there's going to be like an episode or two where he will get to like experiment, you know, because their original intention, they were inviting him. They were like, hey, come to the dark side, because why do you want all these limits placed on you? That's, you know, these arbitrary limits that the heroes put on you. Mm -hmm. Go like grow your power, grow to full. And because the camp theme was like leveling everyone up and kind of seeing what new abilities and powers they might get. I think this is gonna be how he gets his is like the bad guys help him unlock it and uh, but he is a good guy deep down and so he do will you think he'll be with them for a while do you think it'll only be an episode do you think We're, that was episode seven this is me being mad at uh i give <laughs> i give i give it two episodes I give it two two more ep two episodes beyond this. So eight and nine, he's gonna be with the bad guys. Ten will be where he might not be reunited right away with the heroes, but he will at least be out of the clutches of the villains. So I'm giving it two episodes. That's my that's my theory. Put money on it. Yeah. Well, we've talked long enough. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. It's super fun. But as always, I'm going to say if you're going to write anything spoiler-ish. Mark with a spoiler and then tab down a few spaces and then write your comment just so Pat doesn't get spoiled on it. I will definitely not be reading the comments until Mackenzie says, look. Because so, uh, there's a lot of things that could be very tricky now. So I really, really, really would appreciate it if you guys abide by those rules. I've said it once before. I'll say it always again. Please don't spoil the series. And that's not just, I mean, I, I, of course, super appreciate that. On the chance I get tempted and I do look, you know, I would appreciate that. But that's for just everybody on the internet right now. I, kn I know at the, am I allowed to say that? At the time of this recording, season five is being released and viewed by the world. And so it has been a killer for me because now everyone in my circles know I'm watching my hero and they're like, are you at season five yet? And I'm like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't tell me anything. And it's been very hard avoiding spoilers. So, but so not just for my sake, for anybody that's becoming new fans of my hero, I'm sure with the new season, it's garnering a lot of attention. And I guess I can say it because it's real world news and I know nothing about it, but apparently there is a third movie that is, uh, has been announced. And I know you guys want me to watch the first one, um, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Yes, I'm, I am leaving it completely up to her. Yeah, you didn't put it all we, on me, it's fine. It's I did, I on. dumped that on her. I was okay, like, okay, you're, you're, okay. you know, but the, uh, apparently there is a third movie coming out. So, uh, there's a lot of people that will be entering this fandom, uh, in the coming weeks and months, I'm sure. So just, uh, don't spoil things. In the meantime, everybody, thank you so much for fanning out yes, with us. Yes, thank you. Fans out!